What's up? I'm Wilson, and I'm gonna be going through the process of how I created the I Don't remix, original song I Don't by Lefty Wingate. Also, my artist name's Guess. I'm Wilson, but I'm also Guess, so. Um, so Lefty Wingate and I are good friends, and Lefty happened to ask me to help them mix their project for I Don't, and there was this moment where I was like, whoa. What if we made this thing smack like dubstep? Cause that's just kind of what I do. Lefty was like, you can remix it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. We finished the mix and then I took it and I started doing a couple things before I moved on to subsequent projects. So I guess that's just kind of like, I'm just gonna play it. Super interesting listening to it now because it's pretty um, like throaty and not very like but yeah it's super fun to hear this and then I guess at that point I was like okay well I want to make sure that I don't fuck that up so I I saved a new project this is what I ended up with I guess my general way of working with things is by labeling and sorting things into three groups vocals drums and not drums not drums is as you can imagine basically everything that's not drums that's also not vocals brilliant naming convention I know I really 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 loved this original synth that had here, or Lefty Wingate had here. I think if I turn all of these guys off, it'll literally be... Yeah, that was the synth um, that Lefty had, and I was just like, whoa, that's a really evocative thing. I really love this chord. Just, I made it much more schwofy. Yeah, I wanna solve the feel like... Okay, so at some point I decided that Lefty's vocal should not be nearly as uh, underwater and um, low passed as it was. It looks like I put a lot of junk on here. One of the benefits of working with your main homies is that you can just get their Ableton files. So a lot of this processing was already on here. For example, I have Timeless 2, but I effectively never use it. I don't know why, but I just like always use the Ableton stock delay. But it's really cool because it gave me this new, fresh look on delays. Yeah, I wanna solve the field. At some point I decided it was important to make it sound really a uh, glitch down sample-y bit reduction-y. And I actually started working on this before Ableton 11 where there was a dry wet knob on the Redux. I drag a new one in here. You can see it's like a whole new one. So this is a throwback to the old, the old homie. And I had to create my own dry wet rack and I did that by, it looks like I just took the dry version, which had no audio effects, and then I grouped it, created an audio effect rack, created a second chain that had the bit reduction um, at some soft down sampling, and it's got this really uh, sparkly sound. I'm addicted to smoking, call me midnight talking. And there's that really fun uh, delay kind of showing its stuff there. And I would never use that, so it was really cool to like get like a new new perspective on something. And then of course we go into the the kind of like build section slash what was originally like the chorus kind of pre-build, the pop pre-drop chorus thing. Well, I don't love you. I don't love you. I don't love you. Here is Lefty's original kick drums together it would sound like yeah this was basically the original drums pretty much no none of my processing i just kind of left it as it was and then goes into the full the full smackaroonies i kind of want to know what that sound is Oh, it's right here. I can totally see it. It's this vocal for sure. Wow, it sounds so much less cool without the snare. Well, with the snare, it sounds like. I don't even know what this is about. The likelihood that that is Lefty's original processing that I just kind of worked over the top of is very high, which again is super cool because it means that we got to keep this original vibe. I guess technically that happens on every remix except it's baked into audio files so you don't get to see the automation. And I'm pretty sure this is just a vocal. Yeah, there's the Saturn. If we turn that off, let's see what happens. Yep. Okay, let's find the main bass patch. It's probably this thing. Yep, definitely that. Let's see what it sounds like without all the processing. Um, but yeah, it looks like I just had an EQ. So we originally had this. And then... I remember 
was watching this Ahi tutorial where Ahi was like, yo, hey, remove all of 200. So I did, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I don't really do that anymore, but. Oh, this is probably what is responsible for the majority of the sound, this berserk distortion. Yeah, more or less, although I am surprised that it got quieter. To solve any sort of quiet problem, just add gain with an OTT, smash it and then make it louder. Still not loud enough and probably gonna add back some of those mids that I just removed with the OTT by overly clipping it with the glue compressor. I feel like all electronic music is, is effectively just breaking something and then putting it back together again. And the fact that it gets worse is desirable. Whatever, I don't make the rules. I cut off everything below 141 hertz so that I could add a hip hop sub. This is another thing that I don't really use very much, but Lefty uses all the time. And then that, of course, when slammed into the limiter super hard, gets really um, crunchy. These two in tandem as like the bass patch. Yeah, and then we have all these little vocal chops. I took a piece of the original vocal and I put it through the exact same chain, except I also added this incredibly distortionizer, destroyer, stereoizer into a telephone type EQ, into a smash all the living shit out of what you are saying so that it's badass and, and crispy. I don't love you is like this really heart-wrenching thing to say. And so it's the majority of the cuts. I don't love you. In this end section, we again get to hear that beautiful delay that I would have never used before, that timeless, just like echoing out. I don't love you. And then I just took the original vocal and dropped it by a whole octave. Played that over the original chords. have ourselves uh, the end of a absolute thrasher. Uh, the master. Looks like this was back during a time when I still thought it was acceptable to put an OTT on the master. I don't really do this anymore just because like if it's not sounding as squished as I want it to, I usually go back into the mix and do it more. But you know what? There's no such thing as rules. So if you need to put the OTT on your master, you need to put the OTT on your master. And I still will probably do that someday and eat my words. Gulfoss is this magic plugin that basically cheats and it makes your song sound better. So here's it without. It's just a cheater plugin, but I'm cool with cheating. It sounds amazing. The Gulfoss into the OTT into the parallel compressor, which make more loud, I guess, and then make more loud goes into make loudest, which apparently has no decibels of gain. Oh, couldn't I have just done this here? It doesn't matter. And then the last thing I probably checked for and probably the reason why I had that 200 hertz dip is um, I usually just make sure that I'm getting a little bit of the, the Skrillex shape, which is um, kind of this high bump in the low end, a little bit of a dip at two that kind of raises back up over time until we get to some other loud shit at the top and high end. And it looks like this track is like probably even to some extent too like high end be loud for its own good. Like I added more high end to make it sound louder, but then in that I created a little bit of a situation where the high end is more aggressive than the low end. It is what it is. It's not like my favorite mix, but I don't make stuff and send it out there and don't worry about it too much because your next thing will be better anyway. Yeah, I um, have never done like a track breakdown before. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Special shout out, thank you to Valiant for uploading a lot of my most recent tunes, particularly this I Don't Remix. Shout out to Lefty Wingate for allowing me to remix this beautiful and heart-wrenching track. Shout out to all of you for listening to it. So I hope this has been mildly entertaining and I will try to do more of them so that I get better at it. Thanks so much and uh, have a good one.